We are on the phone with uh, the longest tenured Dodgers outfielder, which is crazy <laughs> to say, man. Uh, Jock Peterson, how you doing, bud? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Uh, perfect, man. Baseball is just around the corner. <laughs> we can't uh, we can't feel any uh, any better to actually have things to talk about and watch and uh, we appreciate you guys putting yourself out there for us like this yeah no uh we're super excited as well i feel like it's been around the corner for a little bit um <laughs> so we we all can't wait to get started so uh Brooke over here, he he was the the brilliant mastermind behind uh, your your gun patrol, your swole patrol question <laughs> on the uh, SNLA or the, the the broadcast the other day. Uh, you definitely been doing something different, man. We got to find out more about uh, what's what's brought this this felt jock into play. Oh, you said it. Uh, <laughs> no. uh, yeah, you know when uh, this quarantine stuff kind of happened, I reached out to my agent and the gyms are shutting down, like they're telling us we could start up whenever, like we have to stay in shape. What am I supposed to do? And they uh, got me hooked up with tonal and uh, tonal.com. And they set me up with a full size gym that literally takes up no space. It like is a flat board on the wall and it has a personal trainer that uh, each side, like they have different little arms things that uh, move. So you could do a full workout squat lunges um curls uh, you know curls <laughs> and more curls. Yeah. no uh, uh gotta make it, your guns awesome. pop hey that's right but uh you know i just hopped in the garage and literally while the baby's sleeping i could pump out a 45 minute workout full sweat personal trainer artificially the ai that calibrates you know how much weight i should be pushing out and push push it to the limit you know yeah, man, I, I think a lot of fans thought maybe uh, Poppy and picking up Poppy and curling Poppy was uh, your workout routine. And cause, uh, I wish. I when wish. those pictures popped up, man, the internet went wild, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, she's getting bigger. Want. She's getting bigger. <laughs> Blue's getting bigger. So right there, you got you got your uh, you got your bench and, and uh, you got your curls there. But <laughs> if you could right. have something uh, all like nice and combined in one room, that I feel like that's uh, that's even better, man. It's a little bit more efficient, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, we're, we're looking at it, right? We're thinking about you as a, a, a power hitter over the past couple of years. I think uh, when those pictures surfaced, I think one of the common things was Jock's going to hit 60 home runs in 60 games or something <laughs> like that. But on top of that, you're also stealing bases, which is something that Ooh. we haven't seen a bunch of from you since your minor league days when you were going to be a – you know, 30, 30, 40, 40 guy. Yeah. So, I mean, is, is that one of the end goals in it? Were you wanting to be more fast, more agile on the field or wh wh what was the goal? Absolutely. Uh, you always want to kind of continue to uh, push your speed, power, agility to the limit. And they've definitely tunnels us help, helped a ton with that, as you can see. But uh, yeah, student bases is something that, uh, I need to work on and no better time than right now to, uh, to work on it. So, um, use some of my off season training to, uh, to get me there. So you think, uh, I mean, obviously you, you, we're talking about the guns a lot. We're talking about the upper body, but, uh, you know, spring training, you had that, that sort of hip thing that looked like it might have sidelined you for original opening day. What, uh, what sort of things, uh, were you able to do, uh, you know, lower body wise, leg wise, and and all that mobility stuff that you feel is really gonna, you know, set you on a different uh, level here for twenty twenty? Definitely, um, just working on single leg stuff, stability, balance, um, just normal squats. That I, I just had to clean up my form a little bit, and when you have a person doing it in front of you, so that you can like mimic them, it makes things. Uh, go a lot smoother um but just stuff like that that uh i never knew how important the single leg stability stuff is it sucks and it hurts <laughs> you want to yell you want to yell at the dude on tv but yeah i don't know it's uh it's paying off so i'm glad i had it yeah i mean you got a couple stolen bases in summer camp already so I mean, it right. looks like it's working what about yeah. uh, i mean obviously you you, you bounced around uh 
the outfield a little bit. Uh, we, we don't need to get too much into the first base era, which I'm sure you're Ooh. happy to not talk <laughs> about. But hey, yeah. Matt, Nightmares. <laughs> Matt Upps for for you know giving it the old college try there for sure, man. You you made it look sexy at least. But uh, <laughs> you know you played a lot of right last year. You looked you looked really good. Looks like you're playing a lot of left. Um, you know obviously you came up playing a lot of center. What, what are you hoping to add like in the outfield on defense with, with the wheels and all that kind of stuff in this, this crazy good outfield you guys have? Yeah. You know, our outfield's gnarly. Uh, but yeah, you know, I kind of just play wherever they tell me um, and <laughs> make as many plays as I can, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Cause you know, they, we have a very uh, analytical team that uh they look at everything you do your top speed first step uh read off the bat so um when those numbers start coming in it's gonna be interesting to see how my off-season workout kind of help improve me cover more ground or get better jumps on the ball you know stuff like that um but i feel really good out there uh made a few plays Mm -hmm. and uh yeah just no plays at first. So stay away from me now. <laughs> Are you taking any? Uh, any uh, <laughs> you taking any outfield cues from Chico out there, man? <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, a lot. He's got a cannon. He's making plays off the wall. Uh, I told him, Chico, man, give me some of that. Give me some of those. But uh, no, Chico's killing it. He's uh... <laughs> so Mookie has a Jordan deal, mm-hmm. and. Uh, they wear the same size, him and Chico. So he gave Chico some shoes. Oh, that's cool. That's they're awesome. Jordan, so it's kind of like uh, the movie with Little Bow Wow. Yeah, or whatever. yeah, yeah. Like... You know, be like Mike. <laughs> and be like Mookie. So then Mookie crushes the ball uh, over his head, and then Chico runs it down. But hey, Chico, or Mookie, man, you better not give him any more shoes. Oh, that's hilarious, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe uh, maybe Mookie's got to give him a bat, too, so Doc can get him in the lineup. But uh... Ooh, hey, what, hey, we've been pushing for an at-bat for him. <laughs> man i i tell you i think dodgers fans needed this storyline during summer camp more than anything just you know as a way to ease back into baseball for us get us all excited and everything like that it's been so fun to watch and see him like literally all over every every sort of social media imaginable it's been great yeah for real uh you talked about that outfield a little bit um you guys got a little bit of a reinforcement this year i don't think you really even needed a reinforcement in the outfield and you still got a reinforcement in mookie bets um what do you think he's added to the Dodgers off of the field, on the field and off of the field, I guess. Um, obviously on the field or off the field, it looks like the best outfield maybe ever, right. you know, but uh, um, on the field, his leadership, he's, uh, he works extremely hard. He's locked into every pitch, which is, it's awesome. He's making plays defensively. He's his, I mean, just little stuff that, like, people met, like, his secondary leads, how aggressive he is on the base pass, um, his arm strength, how quick he releases the ball. I mean, I don't want to – I can't – never mind. I can't say it on <laughs> <That's> – <laughs> right. Yeah, it's just – he's in, it's incredible, you know. There's not – everything he does is really, really good, and there's nothing bad. So it's like he continues to uh, impress people. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, then you, I mean, oh yeah. Hey, in center field, there's another MVP. Sorry. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> who really does everything and makes everything look easy as well. So, uh, it's a, it's a pretty special outfield. And then in left, there's a dude who dropped 36 bombs last year. So, you know, yeah, why not? About it. Why <laughs> not? Right. The, yeah. It was the just... real MVP over in left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna no. say we're gonna need to need you to take it home in in uh, 2020 so that we got an all MVP right. outfield, <laughs> you know. And then we have AJ Pollock too, and it's like what, like all star outfielder, and it's like oh my god. And then you, it's just it's ridiculous. You know, it what, seems top to bottom, you guys are good. You know, one of the things I was thinking about, you know, kind of getting back to to the workout and the routine and and, and you know integrating tonal into your life. Um, how how has you know the strength and conditioning, Dodger strength and conditioning, everybody? How has the team sort of? Uh, is anybody taking any cues from you on that, or you know have they found a way to sort of integrate a workout for you as well, or are you just sort of uh, kind of doing your own thing in that regard with with tonal and and everything at home? Uh yeah, you know some days we uh, scheduling got super crazy <laughs> yeah because of. Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> right. But uh, so we can't show up as early. 
so like I can crank out a workout in the morning here before um, I go to the field. Um, so I just knock it out on the tonal, then I can go to the field and um, people have said stuff. Uh, oh, what do you do? What, what it is and that, but uh, where I'm actually going to gift a tonal to JT. Like he's a neighbor, lives right down the street. Nice. Everything's set down, so get him hooked up. So if his arms come back looking swole, <laughs> we know what to think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, look, man, we were we were prepping for this interview. We were thinking about it. We were ma- making some notes, and I think at one point I looked down and I was like, "Jock is actually one of only five guys left from when he came up first. I mean, wow, you know, man. we're thinking back to years ago when you first come up, and it feels like yesterday that you would just come up through the mm-hmm. system. But I mean, Harley, not huh? Who's not. That? not it's you, JT, Kirsch, Kirsch, Baez. Uh, Pedro. Yep. So I mean, it's just it's just a couple of you guys now from that team. So I, I mean, I hate to phrase it like this, man, but how, how does it feel being one of the old guys now? <laughs> man, Grizzle, man Grizzle you don't veteran. gotta remind me. Yeah, hey, twenty. I just turned twenty-eight in quarantine, man. I'm getting up there. <laughs> don't worry, it gets worse, nah. man. <laughs> yeah, not, it's good though. It's uh, crazy. I still feel like I'm twenty-two, but uh. Uh, it's fun seeing all the, these these young bucks come in. They're uh, Gavin Lux, you know, all mm-hmm. these dudes. They uh, they rake. It's it's crazy to see a lot of like me and some of these guys and yeah. like how much you kind of learn and uh, that I wish I knew then. Mm-hmm. But it's all part of the process, and we got some good ones. So you're coming off your your best offensive season, obviously in 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 2019. You got this. <laughs> Weird sixty game season, but but what are your sort of personal goals in this uh this oddball shortened season? And obviously yeah. it is writing on the wall, it is a platform year for you too, you know. We we hope to see you back here in LA, but you never know you never know how things play out. So a lot on the line for you this year, man. <laughs> hey, win the World Series. That's hey. it. There All the go. other stuff is gonna take care of itself. I ain't worried about it. <laughs> win a World Series. We put in too much work, mm-hmm. time. It's it's time for LA. You know what I mean? Like you said, I've been here for a good amount of time. Made the playoff. Won the NOS every year. Mm-hmm. Been to the World Series twice. It's time to win the World Series. We uh, that's a uh, one common goal that we all have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, we got to get you uh, that 2017 uh, World Series MVP <laughs> back. So I mean, I don't know what to tell yeah. you. Man. We just got to get it back to you. <laughs> bad, <laughs> bad times, bad memories, right there, right now. <laughs> All right, man. We know we know you're you're short on time. So before we let you go, I decided we, we got to get a little bit more Jock Peterson for the fans. Things that they might not know so much about you. We wanted to get you a quick little rapid fire in. They're kind of this or that questions. Maybe some favorite memories from your career thus far. Sort of mix and match, just so people can know more about young Jock, who's now twenty eight year old young Jock. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, Taylor Swift or Billie Eilish? Oh my God, Taylor Swift. Right, I like Billie though. Wow, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. That's uh, good. I, I mean, it's it seems not appropriate to ask this during a workout type of interview, <laughs> but pizza or ice cream? <laughs> Ooh, those are literally my two favorite things. That's like it's, ice cream. Oh man, there you go. Yeah, all I, that's a point right there. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes, no brainer. Buttermilk. Oof. You uh, you more of a coffee guy or are you kind of an energy drink guy? I really don't really mess with caffeine, honestly. So Ooh. neither. I could go with neither and be totally fine. He's naturally flying. I love there it. <laughs> uh, seems like an interesting question given the fact that you have a dog, but uh-huh. dogs or cats? Dogs. All easy, day. easy. Yeah, just want to make sure. All right. I mean, this is the great debate. I mean, in my household <laughs> with my wife, this is the great debate. Toilet paper rules, over or under? What you know how you like hang the toilet paper off of the roll? Does it supposed to hang over it or is it supposed to hang under the backside of it? Man, I don't even know. Dude, honestly. I mean, you're gonna think about it now. Next time yeah. you're in the bathroom, yeah, you're like, out. wait a second. Yeah, <laughs> to be there, I, flipping the roll. I don't know. <laughs> Look, man, think about it. Get back to me next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, obviously, he just signed a new gig, but you played a long, long time with Yasiel Puig. What's your favorite Puig memory or moment? Man, that that's Puig is, probably clean that's, for air. <laughs> yeah, no, that uh, it's hard to do. This his joy, as much as he uh, some people he wrote people off the wrong way, mm-hmm. but he uh, his joy. He was happy a lot of the time. He played the game very loose. Um, yeah, so just his, he was funny, you know. 
lighthearted, and it was I miss Bleak. <laughs> we, we miss Bleak too, man. Um, and finally, last one of these rapid fire questions: What was your first big league moment? Like, what was the moment you were like, "Oh crap, this is happening. <laughs> this is real, huh?" Yeah. Um. Oh, that's a good one. It probably wasn't even in the big leagues. It was probably in Double A. I went to the Futures game. So like you're you're I'm in Double A. Like this small stadium, not very nice. You're grinding in the minor leagues, and I go to the Futures game in New York Mets, uh, City Field, and we were on the home side that year. So it's obviously the home sides are way nicer than the visiting side, mm-hmm. but you get there and it was like the nicest thing. It was literally it. Uh, you said pizza, ice cream, all the like and candy. You show up and it's like a seven 11 with everything you could ever want. It's all free. <laughs> you know, and you can just grab, I'm like, Oh my God. Like what I need to do. I need to get back here. You know, <laughs> but it was incredible. Like they had shake shack after the game, the milkshakes, they had those Toll House ice cream sandwiches, the yellow ones that are like twelve dollars at Dodger Stadium. Yeah, I think it, I think it's hey, great. however many you want. I think it's great that that your biggest big league moment was that there's food. <laughs> I think that's that's just yeah, perfect, that's man. Great. I love I that. Hey, that's why I need a tunnel because I'm. I get fat easy. There you go. That worked out. That, that's the best advertisement for it, right there. That's the, <laughs> yeah, that's the most relatable way too, right there. All right, man. Well, anything as we let you go, anything you'd like to say to to the great fans that make up Dodgers Nation? Uh, no, we appreciate you guys. Uh, it's unfortunate that you guys can't come to the games this year, but we're going to do everything we can to provide the same experience on TV, you know, give you guys a good show, bring home a world series. And hopefully when it's, uh, celebrating time, uh, we can all do it together. So there you go. Let's do it, it, man. Let's do it. Jack Peterson. Thanks for your time, bud. Yep. All right. Thanks for having me.